If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. John 8.36 If there is any remnant of individual conceit left, it always says, I can't. Personality never says, I can't, but simply absorbs and absorbs. Personality always wants more and more. It is the way we are built. We are designed with a great capacity for God. <clears throat> Excuse me. And sin and our individuality are the things that keep us from getting at God. God delivers us from sin. We have to deliver ourselves from individuality. For instance, uh, to present your natural life to God and sacrifice it until it is transformed into a spiritual life by obedience. God does not pay any attention to our natural individuality and the development of our spiritual life. His order runs right across the natural life. And we have to see that we aid and abet God, not stand against him and say, I can't do that. Do we ever do that? <laughs> yeah. God will not discipline us. We must discipline ourselves. God will not bring every thought and imagination into captivity. We have to do it. Do not say, O oh Lord, I suffer from wandering thoughts. <laughs> We've read before, haven't we, that um, we can't control what comes into our head, but we can control what we do with it. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, don't suffer from wandering thoughts. Stop listening to the tyranny of your individuality and get emancipated out into personality. <clears throat> Excuse me. If the Son shall make you free, do not substitute Savior for Son. The Savior set us free from sin. This is the freedom of being set free by the Son. It is what Paul <laughs> means in Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ. That's the I believe the revised version. His natural individuality has been broken and his personality united with his Lord. Not merged, but united. We shall be free indeed. Free in essence, free from inside. We will insist on energy instead of being energized into identification with Jesus. Read that again. <clears throat> we will insist on energy instead of being energized into identification with Jesus. Yeah, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of what I get from his writings, um, If there's any of the old man left, get rid of it. Because that old man is at odds, you know, with God. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do away. That, that old man needs to be crucified. Buried. Buried. The new man, you need to allow that new man to become alive, to unite with God, to unite with Christ. Yeah. Um, I think so oftentimes, you know, we are afraid to completely let go of that old nature. Sometimes we even go looking for it again. You know, we can be newly converted, 
which is a little more understandable. Not that it makes it right or anything, but it's understand a little more understandable. And even even you know we've been serving the Lord for a number of years. Um, not that we listen to worldly radio or much um, television from olden days. I guess we do. We watch DVDs, don't we? Of Roy Rogers and and, and whatnot. Um, but, you know, like a uh, a song on the radio from back in the day <laughs> takes your memory right back. Don't you? Just, Remember what was going on <clears throat> during those years or whatever. Um, you listen to worldly radio? No. <laughs> Lay it into it. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this microphone off. There was truth though, Daddy. You better, when, when you, if you want to say no, you better say it right now. Um, just let that old man go. You know, let it be dead. Um, I think, I think... You know, that's absolutely true. And there's a danger if we don't, you know, Paul said he died, he had died daily. Mm -hmm. And there, too often we as Christians don't. And with, like I said, we go looking for that old man, inviting him back into the fold or, or the safe parts. You know, look at safe parts, mm -hmm. you know, and say, oh, that, that would be okay. That would be okay. And what a stagnation of Christian growth to try to conquer something yeah. that God already conquered for you once. And then yeah. Yep. You now, keep bringing it back. In those cases, if we're not mindful, we set our back, ourselves back farther mm -hmm. than we ever wanted to go. Trying to re regain ground is always, that's always rough. Because now we've got that to deal with, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, remembering is a is a good thing. Remembering where God brought us from is a good thing. Um, staying there and meditating on uh, where we came from is not so much a good thing. <clears throat> I think that allows Satan a, a toehold there to remember one, remember that so. time. I read it earlier, but. A good way to measure our spiritual life is to ask ourselves, what is it that produces the greatest perturbation in me? Is it the sins of man against man, or is it the sins of spiritual pride against God? I'll read today's too. Our attitude to the Bible is a stupid one. We come to the Bible for proof of God's existence. The Bible has no meaning for us unless we know that God does exist. Amen. Amen the Bible states and affirms facts for the benefit of those who believe in God. Those who don't believe in God can tear it to bits if they like. Yeah, I know there's been many of of you know non-believers converted, obviously. That's you know, um, but there's got to be something within within us, and I, I believe there is. You know, there's there's I believe something within each one of us that that knows there's something greater than just ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. and that something is God. And, you know, the Bible doesn't, um, like you just said, the Bible isn't there to prove God's existence. God is there. <laughs> if you believe it or not, that's, you know, that's up to you, but, um, mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. that word is for the believers to live their life by. But if the believers are constantly rejecting Dodging the word, it. Mm -hmm. living their own way, and yep, 
keeping Christ in that little bottle or whatever. Yep. Yep. Pick and choose. Let them out every once in a while to show your spirituality and you know, we've got to allow Christ to to reign in our lives. Even when we don't like what Play. the word says, if it intrudes mm -hmm. too much into our own self will and belief, that's when it's real. That's when we should our ears should be perked up and pricking at that mm -hmm. time going, Help me to yield to this Lord instead of looking for ways to reject what he says. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and I know, yeah, people do. Mm -hmm. Even the best the best of Christians do. It's human nature I think, but we've got to allow you know the the spirit of God within us to to really speak to our minds and hearts. Let's pray. Uh, Father, we love and we praise you today, Lord. And I know we kind of you know, talked about a few different things. Father, I just pray that we would truly surrender our whole selves to you, Father, you know, and allow you to, to truly reign in our lives. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you know, we would truly allow you to take control of our lives. Guide us and direct us as you see fit, Lord. Father, you've always been so good and true to us. We just thank you so much. We give you the honor and glory and the praise today. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm. Amen.